How Saudi Arabia is turning desert into huge farmlands. 95% of Saudi Arabia is a scorching, arid desert with a ton of sand. The year-round average yearly rainfall of less than 150 millimeters. But if you look at the nation closely, you'll discover something completely unexpended. Arable lands. If you are wondering how Saudi Arabia is turning deserts into huge farmlands, this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Join us by subscribing to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So without further ado, let's get straight into the topic. In more recent times, Saudi Arabia has seen portions of its lush territory turn into a dry desert. This happened at Al Baida, which is located roughly 20 kilometers south of Mecca. The issue was that the locals, known as the Bedouin tribes, were forced by law to congregate in one place, which changed the natural pasture and led to overgrazing and its gradual demise. The once fertile region gradually turned into a stony desert as a result of the community cutting down trees to sell us charcoal. The lack of seasonal rainfall caused flash floods that rolled into the Red Sea rather than sinking into the soil to replenish supplies, necessitating the needs for deeper wells to get water. The administration then asked Harvard University bioethicist and futurist Mona Hamdi and Stanford University permaculturist Neil Speckman to try to undo the alteration. From 2010 until 2018, Speckman resided in Al Baida with the locals. To collect rainfall, he created rock terraces, checked dams, and opened swales in the ground. To control seasonal flooding and teach the water to flow as beneficial streams, Pacman and Hamdi employed old Incan and Nabataean water conservation techniques. The effort switched to growing trees that could withstand drought in 2012, and by 2015, Pacman and the Bedouin had planted 4,000 plants across 10 different types. The majority of the trees died, but enough survived to provide some hope for a green environment that would serve as a windbreak, source of food for bees and other animals, charcoal and a means of improving the soil by fixing nitrogen. When the funds dried up, problems would arise and the project would be shelved for a while, but the trees replanted themselves when it rained again. But is this enough? No, you need an efficient system to use the water smartly. So what went right? Let's see. Although Saudi Arabia lacks surface water resources, it is surrounded by underwater water reserves or aquifers. But Saudi Arabia has long been extracting water from the earth. Large-scale irrigation has allowed for the growing and harvesting of crops in agriculture, which has received the majority of the water. Pumping water from underneath the ground does have one drawback. Aquifers may go dry, especially if they are used for extensive irrigation as Saudi Arabia has done. Then, Saudi Arabia introduced a technique to preserve water, and it has greatly improved things. The technology is irrigation using a center pivot. The center pivot sprinkler system was created in 1948 by a pioneering Nebraska farmer called Frank Zybach. Utilizing an automated irrigation system, center pivot irrigation entails maintaining a circular pattern around a central pivot to water crops. This explains why the farmlands are circular in reality. The main component is a substantial radial pipe that is held aloft by sprinkler towers. The core of the entire system is where these towers pivot. The radial pipe itself has nozzles that are evenly spaced out to irrigate the nearby crops. To provide the crops with nutrients, the water is constantly delivered from the nozzles while the pipe slowly turns. The water flows down the field in a straight path when center pivot irrigation is used, thanks to the radial pipe system. The flow rate and area covered by each pipe nozzle are the same. This makes it easier to guarantee that water sprayed on the crops is consistent. Depending on the length of tubing attached, center pivot irrigation systems may cover up to 130 acres in a straight system and approximately 155 acres in a swing arm system. Because of this, the technique is appropriate for extensive cultivation. The sprinklers close to the pivot tend to cover a lesser area than the nozzles at the end of the pivot. A center pivot irrigation system's pivot point, around which the entire mechanism revolves, is one of its primary components. It is where the water enters the pivot pipes for the first time. The control panel, another essential component, is also located there. The hardware that enables the farmers to operate the machines is located on the control panel. In this way, Saudi Arabia is converting its desert into huge farmlands. And with that answer, we arrived at the end of the video. We are excited to know your opinion on this. Feel free to comment down below. If you liked our content today, subscribe and click the bell icon to follow our channel for more videos. We will see you in the next one. Until then, peace.